Grab drive. Suppose that would explain the brownouts. So, what's this going to run? Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. Fine. Fine. Do it. I'll be at the bar. Find me when it's done. We're on it, sir. To have to lug cargo across half the universe to pay for this cleaning. I thought it was just a couple of nests. That's another story. Sergeant Booth at your service. If you have a security-related concern, bring it up to me. Not if I've got anything to say about it. For real, though. I don't know if it's because everyone's too busy working, or if it's because of the military presence, but crime's pretty low. We get the occasional drunken brawls, petty thefts and stuff, but Sidonia ain't exactly a hotbed of crime. We're not in the As much as someone's last name is a nickname, friends, acquaintances, and other locals call me Booth. You can call me Sergeant Booth. Don't let me keep you. Careful near the railings on the upper levels. It's a long way down. Welcome to Sidonia Security. I'm Commander Vincent Woodard, Chief of Planetary Security and former head of the Red Devils program here on Mars. I tend to deal with security at a high governmental level, whereas my associate Booth over there handles day-to-day -day security issues. So if you're looking to report a minor crime or misdemeanor, see him. But if there's something I can help you with, feel free to ask. It's small, it's dusty, it's old, but it's home. It may not be anything fancy, but I couldn't dream of living anywhere else. Still do, technically. I'm a naval commander. But they've got me here pushing pencils ever since the Red Devils disbanded. I pull double duty, aiding in recruitment and serving as the Sidonia Security Chief, representing the UC. If you ask me, though, Nothing's been the same since the Red Devil's glory days. Only the finest bunch of soldiers to ever grace the UC with their service. 
Of course, I may be biased as a Red Devil myself and head of the program. Well, former, I should say. Program's been defunct since the armistice that ended the colony wars. It put a stop to any and all Xeno warfare. I fought to keep them operational here, but the top brass concluded that without their unique alien bioweapon training, there was no need for a separate elite soldier program. All the goddamn time. <laughs> it's been about 20 years, but every time a new recruit crosses my desk, I size them up and wonder if they have what it takes to be a red devil. I'd give my left thumb to recruit fresh devils again, but it'd take nothing short of a miracle to convince the top brass to reinstate the program. Have yourself a good one. Maybe it's ever, not too late simply. to catch a ride back home. Welcome, Tell welcome. Me. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor, mining so director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat, so long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. so bad for one of the oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. Yep, that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that, you know how it is. I worked hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago, after the old boss retired. Some of the older guys resent me, but I give everyone a lot of leeway as long as they meet their quotas. So that keeps them happy enough. Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Basically, it's high-tech mining. We use immensely powerful controlled particle detonations deep underground to loosen up subterranean gases and other difficult-to-gather resources so we can harvest them. Sounds way more dangerous than it is. Probably. Actually, it's still pretty dangerous if you don't know what we're doing. Yeah, no worries, mate. I can totally see how it'd be odd if you're not used to it. Just sit down, or be sure you're within reach of something to hold on to if the quaking makes you uneasy, you'll be fine. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah, unfortunately all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless, maybe you could help me out with a job, off the books.
great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Don't you think I want to? Corporate sets the contracts and they're not giving out anymore, so we work with what we've got. Something to do with insurance, benefits and uh, other liabilities, so I don't make the rules. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. Always ask me what I think about mining. <laughs> it rocks. I could use a break. How about the girls and Howdy. Sometimes. Any vacancies on your crew? You don't have to ask me twice.
defensive systems. Basically, I can fine-tune your shields to keep the enemy from damaging anything you can't afford to lose. No more than the average crew person's salary. Then you're not hiring me. It's simple math. Do you have room for one more on your crew? Not asking for much, just a reasonable share. Well, why is that? Try to be. Yeah, I hope so. I'll do it, but only because I really need them. What's my assignment? Get underway. Yeah, the tech to instantly jump across the universe. I think someone. Layla's been going on. Sometimes I wish I'd taken an easier job. Have a good one. Half the universe to pay for this cleaning. I thought it was just a couple of nests. Traveler, will you join me for a while? You strike me as someone with an interesting story. Call it Scholar's Intuition. Meeting a kindly stranger is always a blessing. What brings you to Sidonia? You may. I just finished a circuit of the Sol system. I've been studying Galileo lately, and I wanted to pay tribute to the planets that inspired him. Sightseeing on Mars. My intuition about you must have been correct. Most stop in Sidonia for the strong drinks at the Broken Spear. You must be more interesting than most people. I appreciate the sentiment. Consider my interest piqued. I'd be happy to join you. I have a feeling this will be a fruitful partnership. Are you willing to pay? 
I dislike taking money from friends, but I'll need some credits to stow my ship at Sidonia's spaceport. I'll work to make it up to you, naturally. Let me think about it. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Not if I go broke. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. That's a good one. You think I'm a pushover? I'm sorry, but I can't afford to be that generous. I know a lot about Starship maintenance, and I'm skilled at constructing outposts. I have plenty of piloting experience, too. I also think I'm a decent conversation partner. That has some value on long trips through deep space. Some other time, then. Hey there. Thought we'd struck oil. But it turns out it was just another deep water deposit. Okay. Hello. It's hard not to work when your spouse is the one doing the hard work down in the mines. I haven't had a day off in three years, and I wrote them. another long day. So at least I've got more than enough work to complete before I can go home. Go me. Many people think psychology is only good for treating past emotional trauma. But it's a great way to prevent it in the first place. I know the Deimos employees here on Mars think I'm overbearing. But what they don't know is that I've saved this operation from being shut down countless times. Unless you're a Deimos employee, I can't really help you. Traveler, will you join me for a while? You strike me as someone with an interesting story. Call it Scholar's Intuition. Meeting a kindly stranger is always a blessing. What brings you to Sidonia? Sightseeing on Mars. My intuition about you must have been correct. Most stop in Sidonia for the strong drinks at the Broken Spear. You must be more interesting than most people. I appreciate the sentiment. Consider my interest piqued. I'd be happy to join you. I have a feeling this will be a fruitful partnership. Are you willing to pay? I dislike taking money from friends, but I'll need some credits to stow my ship at Sidonia's spaceport. I'll work to make it up to you, naturally. I know a lot about starship maintenance, and I'm skilled at constructing outposts. I have plenty of piloting experience, too. <laughs> I also think I'm a decent conversation partner. That has some value on long trips through deep space.
Then we have an accord. Thank you for the offer. I need... It's not easy living in Sidonia. Don't want to catch yourself with a loose grip on your equipment. Uh, if you're hiring, I could really use the work. Engineering is my specialty. I'm trained to optimize your repair systems to keep your ship up and running. I think you'll agree my rate is fair. Why is that? It's not that simple. <sighs> I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. In my experience, the right offer is always worth waiting for. That's as low as I'll go. Don't like it? Look for someone else. Fine. See you around. Not everyone needs to come to me with their problems. I'm a psychiatrist. We've got cold beers and good atmosphere. Not much more you could ask for. Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. See? That's what I'm talking about. You give respect, you get respect. I'm glad you understand. What's your poison? been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. You in the service? I know the feeling, but, uh, you just get so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But, 
He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I'll let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but if I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You call me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fan. Agreed on a discount, right? Let me confirm the amount. Okay. Let's talk.